March is Women's History Month. It's a time to celebrate women for the countless contributions they're making around the world and right here in our city. So I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to Julie Wall. She's a Fort Wayne artist who specializes in a unique art form that was once a male dominated industry, printmaking. I take you inside her small business to show you her big talents in this week's Positively Fort Wayne. Welcome to the hedge. One step inside Julie Wall's Wonderland. I kind of say yes to everything creative. <laughs> and you know, you've entered an artist's world. I paint murals for people, do site-specific installations. I am always inspired by nature. I love the patterns of the botanicals that are there. In this creative house, I'd say 80% of it is workspace. Julie's mind is always at work. They're gonna see my mess. They're gonna see what's inside of me all out in the open, lots of projects kind of scattered around. Speaking of scattered around. I have a um, problem collecting printing presses. <laughs> so. The Hedge is home to a handful of antique printing presses. I remember the first time I saw printing presses and I just was like, completely captivated, and I still am. I love them. I think in the shop, visibly, I have about seven. Most of them are from the 1800s. Ink that puppy up a little bit. Very beautiful. Uh, they're used, too. They're not just these decorative elements. They all have names. They have pseudo personalities. So this is Ava, and Ava <laughs> is one of my older presses, actually, from the 1880s. One of my big workhorses here is Ginger, and she's gorgeous. She's a redhead. She is what I print most all stationary, um, high-end event invitations. She leaves a really beautiful, deep impression into the papers that can be felt. And then this cool cabinet is a font cabinet. If we're gonna typeset something, it is laid out, there's a lowercase a. As she works with and among her vintage machines, Julie Wall's printing a new chapter. This was a really male-dominated industry for so long, but now the resurgence of this style of printing is really being brought back by young women. It feels really good to be a part of something like that. Representing women in the arts and in business. Anytime that I do educational outreach, I hear girls can be artists too. And it's really, really cool to hear that. It's really nice to see that, okay, if I'm an artist and I'm succeeding here, then you can be an artist and you can succeed here too. We don't have to move to Chicago, New York, LA. We can kind of do what we want here and really keep it here and provide this cool sense of place for our community. Such an amazing town. And because you just asked, I do want to say, <laughs> Pat said, where does she find these? She finds them in storage lockers, people's basements, mm. um, churches that have a bunch of them. She said it's such an antiquated way of printing for us now, but it was so prevalent for so long. So they are pretty much everywhere. And besides like the seven you see in her shop, she has what she calls a, pre a printing press hospital in her basement, <laughs> where she has a ton more that just need a little uh, TLC. But you know, she jokes she has a problem collecting them. She sees them and she wants some. I and don't she view it as a problem. Them. I think it's a beautiful thing. Isn't and the awesome? thing she does with those things, it's nice to not just collect them, but to like, as she mentioned, she yeah. actually uses them. Uses them. So this one you see right here, this Fort Wayne, Indiana, she carved that out of wood. So you can kind of see how intricate that is and you can see it on our website too. But she carved that and then that is what we printed on. So and just you gave me one of those. The so talents I, have that I did. On my desk. So that is very cool. <laughs> yes. Great job, Julie. Thank you. Yeah, it's amazing. And she also loves when people come in and she's working on the presses. She wants you to ask. She wants to have that dialogue so she can teach you about these presses that she loves so much um, and really kind of uh, get that out there about this kind of art form that um, is so special to her that she wants to share with people. I'm sure people like myself have walked by, seen the hedge. Yeah. What is that? Don't quite know, but didn't walk in. Yeah. Now they know. There you go. That's exactly. Awesome. And she does have a small retail shop. It's only open on Saturdays, but she sells all kinds of amazing one-of-a-kind items as well. So a lot to see there at the hedge. For sure. Beautiful job. Beautiful story. And to see this and all of our Positively Fort Wayne stories, just head to wayne.com, hit the news tab, and look for Positively Fort Wayne.